Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I know it's a departure from the usual um, bedroom or living room environment, but I've come into the kitchen today because I want to uh, I want to demonstrate to you a kitchen gadget. In this case, it's the Tassimo T20. Now, the Tassimo T20 is the main way in which I get coffee. Um, it's reliable, it works very well, and it's cheap-ish. Um, apart from to run it, it's not nice to have to buy pods, but to be fair, the pods aren't too expensive. I mean, they are expensive, but they're not, you know, 10 pounds a pop, they're not. They're also very easy to use, very easy to use indeed. Um, and I've had no problems with this so far, so I'm here to demonstrate it to you today in the breakfast environment, even though it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> By the way, I do have to apologize for being a little bit quiet due to the fact that my dad's on nights, so he's asleep upstairs while attempting to. It's blistering hot. Uh, I've got a bit of a sweaty brow. It's not, not the best at all. Um, this weather is horrible and uh, it's going to get hotter. Brilliant. I mean, that's why I'm breaking the, the main red cassette rule and presenting a video in shorts. It, it's, it's not good. It's really not good. But anyway, welcome to the breakfast area of, of the kitchen. Uh, this is quite a small kitchen, so most of it's <laughs> the breakfast area. It's whatever day, time of day it is. Uh, next to it. Anyway, I'll keep the Tassimo T20 next to my parents' 1980s La Cuisine toaster. Uh, they, they got married in 1986, and this is the same toaster that they had since they moved in together. It's an old toaster. <laughs> but it still works smashingly well. But anyway, onto the video. So this is the Tassimo T20. Uh, it's a very simple machine. It's got uh, one, well, two buttons, really. Um, it's made by Bosch, I should mention, probably. It's made by Bosch, but if you haven't noticed the Bosch symbol, you probably need your head boshing. Let's see what I did there, yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's got four lights on it. That's to say that it, the coffee is brewing. That's to say your coffee is finished. That is to say that it needs descaling. And that is to say that it's run out of water, which I believe it has this. This machine has run out of water. Then you pop the top off it like that, and that reveals where the, the reciprocal for the pod. Um, so you put the pod on there, like, like so. So these are, this is an empty packet of, uh, of Kenko. Uh, Kenko XL, American, Americano Grand. Um, it's the best type that you can put for this, for this certain machine because um, you get a big cup, you get a, a large amount of coffee from your thing. And you may be thinking, well, how does it, surely it just dispenses the same amount of water every time? Well, you'd be wrong because, see these barcodes? You might not be able to see them if the camera will focus. But the barcodes on there are red by the machine. There's a little barcode scanner just in there, and they are—they tell the machine how much coffee to dispense. I imagine. <laughs> but yeah, this works. So you put that in there, and uh, then you clamp it down, and it makes a coffee. Now there's one drawback, which when you clamp that in, sometimes if it doesn't register, you put one in. You have to re-clamp it, and sometimes I can double punch. Now a way around that is to not lift the whole thing up. I, I shall make a coffee actually, because even though I'm really rather hot, um, I should still make a coffee just to demonstrate this machine to you today. So you press down firmly on that, the green light comes on to tell you that you are ready to brew uh, a coffee. And then you get your favourite uh, Star Wars mug. Uh, you may have noticed this one was used in the last video that I made about photography. So there we are. You place it on the on the 
plate, check that the reservoir has enough water in it. I mean, this probably doesn't, but it'll do. Yeah, it has a weird buoyant, buoyant thing in it. I think that's to keep the water fresh. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I'm not sure about that. Uh, this just lifts off and lifts back on again. It's really quite simple. But anyway, so you see the green light is on. So if I then go about pressing the big button once, it pumps the water through. And it works very well at doing that. Now what I will do is shut this camera off for a bit because it's low on battery. Um, well, this goes about hammering the, uh, the sideboard. I'll see you when my, uh, when my coffee is finished. So there we go. I mean, it's a little bit hot now. It's hotter than the sun. But in a minute, it will be at the right temperature for me to enjoy the beverage. Um, it's a very simple system, which I like a lot. The only really difficult thing to do is when you have to read the instructions when the descale light comes on, and you have to use uh, the special. Um, this special green pod to run water through it. You have to put a little bit of descaling in the tank. Um, but other than that, it's a it's a really simple machine, um, and it does the job. It's a shame that it doesn't put milk or sugar in your beverages, but you know you can't have everything. I don't know why that's not focusing. Oh, there we are. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I say, you can't have everything. You do have to do that yourself. Um, it steams it though, and gets some nice throth. That's one of the reasons why I bought it really, because I do quite like a bit of a bit of uh, a froth on my coffee, which you don't get from instant coffee. It seems like I'm getting a bit of a theme here where I'm drinking coffee all the time in, in videos. Uh, I'm, I'm not a coffeeholic. Coffeeholic? That just sounds like I like coffee, not coffee. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> that uh, it's a lot nicer, I think, than uh, instant. Although. It's not as good as bean coffee, of course, because as soon as the bean is roasted, it starts to lose flavour. And due to the fact, due to the nature of this system using pods, um, you're going to lose that flavour quite quickly. Now they do do other flavours like this. The this a mocha. This is a mocha pod. It's quite a, quite a, quite a, a way larger than the than the the, the Kenko. Pod. I mean, they're both Kenko, but the, the, the Americano pod. Uh, this is because this has more like a powder in it. If I shake it near the microphone, you'll be able to hear that. It's got more of a chocolatey powder type thing in it, uh, due to the fact that the coffee's well like a, a chocolatey coffee. Uh, although, you don't get much water through one of these. You usually have to add more afterwards, which creates a watered down feel to the coffee. Um, like, you, you, you probably wouldn't fill this mug. Uh, which is the downside, which is why I just keep to Ikenko and sometimes I'll have a Cadbury's hot chocolate. They're, they're really quite nice. Um, obviously it's the wrong time of year currently for a hot chocolate, but you know, when, it, when the time comes they're very nice. Um, it does have a milk pod system that you can use for certain beverages. Uh, I personally stay away from those beverages because the milk is a bit, it's like condensed milk. It's brown actually, it's like a brown condensed milk which mixes with the water and creates actual light milk. Uh, it, it, it's, I don't, personally I don't like the drinks that use it, but like the Oreo one, that was one of the selling points because I really like Oreos, um, Oreos, Oreos, and they weren't very nice and I was a bit like, mm. look at I like coffee like I do, but you know, you can't have everything, but anyway. 
I think uh, I think I'll leave it there. There's not much else that you can really say about it. Um, I mean, I might do a follow-up video on more more of the other type pods, taste tests and things. Again, it's not focused right. Um, I may do that in the future. I may not. <laughs> You'll just have to see. Um, next two weeks, maybe not a video. I'm not sure. I'm away on a national citizenship service. Um, I'm away for the first two weeks and then I come back and do a little bit in, in Chesterfield. Um, wish me luck, please. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll leave it there. If I don't see you next week, I will apologise gravely uh, and then and then forget about it. But anyway, I'll see you then, if, if I see you. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe, like my Instagram, Sam Air Photography, all one word, E-Y-R-E -E is my second name. There'll be links in the description. Uh, hopefully. Also the Facebook page, if you don't have Instagram, the Facebook page is pretty much my other Instagram because everything gets shared straight to that automatically. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. In a bit. I know that annoys Joe, so I do it all the time. But anyway, yeah, see ya. <laughs>